Fuck you, I'm not. No, hi. I'm going to start off with saying, fuck you. Well, fuck you, buddy. Fuck, I'm not your buddy guy. <laughs> hey, buddy fucking pal. <laughs> Ain't your pal, buddy. <laughs> hey, your buddy uh, guy. Fuck you, duper, and your fucking internet. How about that shit? Since we're <laughs> dropping fuck bombs all over the place. Greg's been gone for uh, two weeks. He comes back and immediately he's just all pissing. Oh, There's God, no happiness. The funny Greg. guy is finally back on the podcast. Sorry, everybody listened to fucking two and a half weeks of fucking boredom, serious shit. You know, the the let's make the comedy podcast. First of all, asshole, funny we couldn't again. control. We couldn't control. It's not like we said, "Hey, hummus, go ahead." And, oh no, you talked about a lot of other go ahead shit and drop too. Your your hummus shit. Yeah, you talked a lot more about hummus um, than you know. <laughs> Uh, but don't worry, everybody. The funny guy's back. So, you know, I'm bringing comedy back to the comedy podcast again. So yeah, we'll see. With this it'll be good times. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway, it's gr- great to be back. Uh, uh, you know, I know these guys said that I was in a lot of different places. Um, some <laughs> may be true. Some may not be true. Um, but, yeah. So, can I just talk about, um, like how the world just revolves around me and when i am on vacation like all the things that happened in my absence can i just kind of go over that because i have a list dude think about this all right really think about this so the last two major wars that's broken out like i was away from the podcast when ukraine happened you were away from the podcast when israel just happened dude no more vacations for anybody should I take a vacation? Has <laughs> no. anybody been looking at the Taiwan situation? <laughs> Just, and conveniently enough, Lee is not here. So oh, like, fuck. what the fuck? Somebody check on Taiwan right <laughs> now. But, he, <laughs> no, he's just taking it? he's just taking the episode off. He's not taking a vacation, so so he's we're okay, okay I think. I think it's not a leave. So we're mm-hmm. we're gonna be okay. Um okay. So there's a lot that happened in my absence, and I just kind of want to recap for everybody. Um so dude. That that whole like emergency zombie broadcast like test thing like thank yeah, God amazing. I was gone for that. Um, stupid. And dude, like, but my rebuttal to that is, is how do you know if we're actually zombies or not if none of us are dead? Wait, what? So like to confirm if you're a zombie or not, you have to be dead, right? How and we're not you, dead if yet. You're dead. How do you confirm that you're dead? Yeah, like, zom- no, but how do you confirm have, like, that you're a zombie process. if you're not dead? How do you confirm if you're a zombie? You're dead. Like, like Rick, like you have not died yet. So how do I know if you're actually a zombie or not? Because you haven't died yet. Because I'm not dead. Because the I living know. can tell if you're dead or not. No, I know. But so what are you saying? I'm saying, Rick, is that we will not know if we're actually zombies until we've actually died. That's well, the, point the unvaccinated would know. Huh? Yeah, Cooper, are we know. zombies? No. <laughs> See? There you go. We just need Hold on. Oh, yeah. So um, th- cool. that we was started, kind of we like started, my first like, point. Out. <laughs> I like how you see how that works. Is it just me now? Excellent. It's time for me to start talking about some real stuff. Guys, I want to talk about all the different types of milk in the world today. Uh, <sighs> all right. Um, lost, we've lost two. Yeah, two. we lost two. See, so he cannot. Ha- I've been back for three minutes and Duke can already not handle it. I love it's it. funny. You came back and all of a sudden his Internet problems came back. So, oh, well, you, yeah, well, it's because I carry so much bandwidth on this show that his Internet couldn't take it. Or you're a secret agent for Elon and you want him to get Starlink. Oh, who I does like number it. two walk for? <laughs> Dude, and did you hear that? Uh, Starlink is going to be starting cell phone service really? over the next couple of years. Yeah, they're going to start with text and then data and then phone calls. So, so they're going to have pagers. Yeah, pretty much. Well, not I don't know. Everything's going to get rolled out by 2025, I guess. So, nice. um, if the world's here, yeah. So I'm going to keep this train going, um, even though um, it's fine. We we know what his opinion is. Um, yeah. it's a leftist something something. You know, yeah. politics. Yeah. So, dude, uh, we th- there's no speaker of the house, even though he, <laughs> you went right into politics. And then, and then he, no, 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 no. Just, just briefly, even though he saved uh, the government from shutting down for 45 days. Yeah, um, he actually so, did like his job. Yeah, and then he was like, "Okay, bye." <laughs> they're like, "Well, fire him for doing his job." It's so funny. I heard, I heard a, a Republican because now they're getting interviewed because it's such a clusterfuck, and this dude was pissed. I can't remember where he's from. But he's like, they're making us look like goddamn idiots, like live on air. And yeah. they're like, 
well, why do you say that? They're like, they just want to be the minority so they can say no. They don't even want to do the job. They just want to say no to everything so they have something to run against. They don't want this job. Like, this dude was losing his mind on air. It's great. They're they're yeah. in crisis mode over there on the uh, duper side. Dude, and in Europe, they were covering that, like, religiously until really? fucking, you know, Hamas and Israel, you know, did their thing. Um so, but yeah, um, it's kind of crazy, right? Like, you know, you do your job and then you get ousted for it. Like, ain't that some shit? Yeah. Um, so, um, I, I did find it interesting that, well, first of all, you, you had guest host um, try to cover for me, which some did better than others. Um, but Who why was it when Art was on? This is all I can hear. It was like you guys were talking. You're like super serious, super serious, super serious, and the whole time in the background's like, <laughs> I'm like I was like, what the fuck is there a CPAP machine going on in the background? <laughs> he needed to put the CPAP on to be on the show, <laughs> dude. And with art being art, his sighs are so bad they were in Spanish too. So you know, I was like, what El the fuck? You know, I was like. You know, Duper cannot get close enough to the mic, and and Art is just fucking rubbing it with his whole fucking chin and beard. You know, like I didn't know we got in the ASMR business. Like, are you are you trying to evolve the podcast without me, Rick? Like, he had a comb remember. and he was right next to the mic and he was doing like that little like rubby rubby. Dude, go back and listen to it. It's so I'm, bad. Now dude. I'm gonna no. listen to. It. I never listen to our shows, but I'm that that's worth me listening to. I want to. Hear- I mean, dude, I did it. I mean, I only did it because I was on like you know a 12 hour fucking worth. <laughs> 12 hours worth of travel time, time so out, time out so for those that aren't gonna see this <laughs> duper duper's non-elong musky internet is not working and, and he just called in from his cell phone we have a call in listener guys <laughs> the first call into the, the show. show hello What's caller the, who first are time you? caller long time listener <laughs> go ahead first time long time <laughs> See, I told you I'm bringing comedy back to this podcast. Maybe we Dude, just need I to have a Ricky Greg show. This. I can't <laughs> release. I can't wait to release this on YouTube. It's going to be fucking magic. Cooper, are you going to say anything? Or are you just going to sit there with your cell phone? You want to tell us what's going on? You're muted, Duper. Yeah, you're muted, by the way. <laughs> what's going on, Duper? Look at him. Just going to sit here and pout the whole time. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> Okay. I don't know what um, he said. <laughs> so, so caller, what's on your mind this evening? I, I don't understand why my internet doesn't work. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I need tech support badly. Uh, <laughs> Are you being like, it was working? It was working, and then, uh, and then it stopped. Mm. Did you check your router? Yep. Reset the modem, reset the router. Internet just doesn't work out here, man. Stuff. Oh, man. See what happens when you live in the mountains? You, you, you become a city is. boy. <laughs> <laughs> we dropped off right when we were talking about how uh, there's like a third world war that could break out because he's not on the episode. I was a little bit worried when it happened. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> that was the end of it right there. <laughs> like, shit. I was like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, Check the window, accent. looking for any bright Solid. lights out there. <laughs> no, you know what it was? I started talking about the emergency broadcast system, and your shit went all fucked. <laughs> They're like, "Oh no, oh no, don't have to talk about that again." Um, all right, what's all, what else is on your list? Uh, oh God, dude, yeah, I have a list. Um, yeah, so and and you know, I I can find it interesting. I take a European vacation. I should have called in from Europe. I was only nine hours ahead, but I could have probably called in from Europe and still had a better connection than Duper. Like, it's fucking crazy. Um, But I find it interesting that four men on the show have a deep, in-depth discussion about women being raped and don't bother to have a women's perspective on it. Um, I found that interesting. How are we going to get a woman Um, on the show? Guest? Dude, girls don't talk to us. And that was another thing. I tried to get them on the show. I run up and I punch them in the arm and I'm like, hey, hey, I like you. And then I run away and nothing... (laughs) Nothing ever gets them to come. You're on the feeding show. into Dupe's crazy ass incel. Men will never get laid ever again. Fucking talk. Um, I passed notes. I passed I'm sure notes. plenty of men are getting fucking laid. If ugly ass men like us can get women, I'm sure there's plenty of men out there getting laid. Did you write this down? Um, I did write it down. You're reading that, aren't you? 
No. Um, <laughs> but no, I just find it interesting, right? They're like, women drape, rape, rape, rape. And I'm like, oh, they, they should have at least First like, all, nobody, phoned a friend or something. Nobody wanted to talk about rape on the show. Duper accused you and I of supporting it. And of so, supporting rape? Yes. So that's what? how we started talking about rape. Remember it was the Hamas joke that he was trying to make? It was so hard to understand because he had art on the show. <sighs> So it's it's hard to understand. When so you guys it was heard. not a planned joke. Also, I would have passed a note that said, "Circle yes or no." Will you come on our show, please? Because I like you. And the girl probably would have also said no to that. So I don't really, I don't know how to talk to girls. No, I don't understand Greg's critique here. Like, so we can't talk about anything anymore, or what? No, we gotta have like can, a. Can but you guys portray yourselves to be experts and yet fail to get nobody a said opinion. we're experts. We actually started the show off saying we're no experts. No, go and back no, and listen. Started talking. So, so go back and your listen. Critique is that, oh, so whenever we talk about rape, we have to bring a rape victim on and make them re-experience No, I didn't say a drama. rape victim. I just said from a women's perspective. It's well, kind of hard to discuss and debate women's rights and women's, you know, pers- you know, things that majorly impact them and yet not get some type of guest to kind of get their reaction. What Dude, you, you you know, that's what podcasts it's... do. Podcasts bring on guest hosts. Yeah, the oh. podcasts give opinions. That's what we do, and that's what we did, Greg. Deal with that shit. Oh, look at ooh, oh god, look at the toxic toxic masculinity of Duper. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'm a man. <laughs> I can rape Holy. any girl I want. <laughs> nope. Fuck no women's rights. No. Nobody said that, Greg. That's what you said. You just said that right now with your angry face. I'm, hey. No. I'm not the to one be in fair, favor of None of, of us condone of, rape. Of Let's just get that out. That was just me trolling Duper. Yeah, no, it was. It was a good troll because I backed out immediately realizing I don't want to be a part of a rape <laughs> <laughs> I don't know um, if you know not, this, not but I will back there, out Greg. if you say rape. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's it. Maybe, maybe you should edit that one out and maybe get a, a woman's perspective before you say that next time. I want a perspective <laughs> for somebody who has strong internet. That's the fucking what I want. You know? Yeah. Well, um, well, before before you before you say anything sexist again, just make sure you get a female perspective on that. Okay. Um, next time I talk about serious women's rights, I'm just saying it's an option. No, 100. percent But if we if we yeah. knew we were going to talk about women's rights like in advance, you know, we would have tried to have somebody on here with a different yeah. perspective, um, or at least I would have gotten know. my wife's opinion to See, be. Able and to and speak. this is why you need me. You what? need me to make you guys think about alternative things like what are you that. Gonna, because you're not gonna stop you guys show. are so stuck in your bias, you don't think about things like that. Like we're 25 minutes into a podcast, you're like, hold on, hold on, guys, stop the show. Yes, make some phone so, calls. Yes, absolutely. What female is available? Absolutely. You're still stuck in in, in, in your your bias that you haven't thought about the left wing diversity aspect of this whole situation. Ooh, like, look how angry he gets, dude! I trolled him so hard. He's oh, so angry right now. Dude, he's really so angry. Dude, more, your face is as red as your biceps right now. You are so angry. It's you more know, the internet so, situation. You're so angry. The four Homer yeah, Simpson hairs on your talking? head are just sticking straight up. Yeah. You are rebooting but, it right now. Yeah. Oh, great. Good. Um, good. Good. Um, so. Other things you guys still hate, you guys still hate EVs, which is fine. Um, yeah, uh, there's like new intro music for some reason. Like it's I don't know where that it. came from. Where, uh, where'd because that you're come not from? here anymore, so I did what I want. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like it. I mean, you didn't, no, like, you didn't like it. I did a hip hop one that was kind of dope. No, I said I liked it. Oh, okay. You know, I like. You're not gonna like the one I do for this one. I didn't hate all things, Rick. Okay. You there's said some things we weren't I funny liked. enough, so I made a funny intro for this theme music yeah. that everybody's already heard. And it's a very big troll to to Greg. So you're welcome, Greg. I love it. Um, you know, um, I appreciate trolls against me, unlike Duper, who gets just mad and angry. Um, <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna leave the whole Israel Hamas thing because you guys kind of covered that. Um, so I'm just gonna let that lie. Um, you. The both of you debate abortion without actually debating abortion, which was fun. Um, we had a solar eclipse. No, we didn't. Oh, we, no, didn't. we didn't. We did not. No, we did. Three we text did not. messages you sure as shit did. <laughs> but we do not. Uh, uh, we are not going to talk abortion on this podcast. Dude, I oh, went oh, on a European vacation. I am more vacation. than happy to have the conversation. I know, but I don't want your soapbox getting spread out with that filth into the world and promoting it. I want nothing to do with Ooh. that. Ooh, those big boy mm. words. Those are big um, words. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. dude, like literally three days of my European vacation were you guys sending nothing but fucking abortion texts. I was like, oh my God, just no, stop. no, no. Duper was sending abortion texts. Um, I was trolling Duper. I, 
about the comment on the last pod when we talked about Hamas. All I was doing was trolling Duper about the or dupe. What, what did dupe deserve to get all our trolls? Whatever. I don't know. It was a, yeah. it was a long text thread. So we've talked about this in the past, but our text thread can get out of control once in a while. Oh, all the t- every this day. This was one of those. It was an all day thing. It was outstanding. Yeah. Um, yeah. and then there was a solar eclipse and there's no more Skittles in California anymore. So Big candy. Yeah. You know? So look at like the major impact my absence had on the world. Did you see the solar eclipse? No. No. Oh, they don't have that in fall? No, well, they did, but I'm like 11 hours ahead and asleep. I spit on you, son. You. I've left yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. the solar eclipse was cool. I get to use my telescope I got for my birthday, and it looked awesome. <laughs> I fucking love this telescope. <laughs> you guys you watched the Wolf Supermoon kid? last month? Oh, my gosh. It was cool. <sighs> okay, cool. Dude. Um, but Yeah, no, so those are just the things of to note in my absence. Um, And then you guys were incredibly boring for, like, three out of four shows. Now, granted, some of those topics were super serial, um, <laughs> which I give that to you, but, like, not even, like, one joke to, like, levity it. Um, Lee spoke, I think, only on one episode, and your guest host spoke for, like, three sentences. So, yeah. I mean, we but can't, glad we to can't be back, control buddy. that. I do want to give you one little tease of something that you did miss. Oh, am I allowed okay. to give this to you? Uh, do you can give me any time? All right, anything, so this, this happened. I, I showed this to them, but you weren't there, so you'll get this piece right now. <laughs> dude, I forgot about your fucking photo shoot, dude. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this was uh amazing. this was the highlight of you being <laughs> oh so rick for yes. the audio viewers describe what's going on here uh i'm briefly. straddling my wife my wife is straddling me we we're looking very it. seriously at the camera and my son and daughter <laughs> are towering over this on their knees also unhappy with this so <sighs> all our pictures in the canadian tuxedos we were trying not to smile so <laughs> There's a, there's a lot going on. There's a Dude, lot I love going. the wig. I love the wig. <laughs> I was trying to find, like, because you know that movie, The Iron Claws, coming out and they had the Von Erics, and I forgot about their sweet 80s haircuts, so I got a wig <laughs> to match it. <laughs> this, uh... is, this is it. Uh, let's see. I'll give you a couple Dude. more just so you, well, Duper's trying to figure his shit out. There's, Ooh. Jeremy got the wig. Oh, God. Look at your wife's face. <laughs> That's, how that's the way she looks at you every day. This is the Christmas picture. <laughs> Dude, you need more than one wig, though. No, it was it was perfect. This is what we wanted because we didn't really we just wanted to sneak it in. Because the lady was like, "Dude, seriously?" <laughs> like, yes. Just... Uh, and I apologize to everybody. I know, I know, Rick already covered this a couple episodes ago. But I have but... to get Greg caught up. Yeah, in my absence, this is fucking great. Like, <laughs> oh god. This and, was my and, birthday present. And nobody saw this on YouTube either. So this would be a good opportunity for those who missed out on the video pod because nobody created that in my absence. Um, hey, I don't do that. Oh, here's yeah. my normal family picture, though. So Uh-oh. there you go. Look at that cheese grin, dude. Yeah, I was happy. This is like yeah. my, yeah, I got a, I got my family in here. Dude, is that a cardigan? Yeah, dude. <laughs> you know how many sweaters I own? <laughs> I have so many fucking cardigans. <laughs> it's stupid. No, Look, it's a this pool is the one I hated. Thanks for asking. This is the picture Uh-oh. I hated, Greg. You know why? Because I'm why? like, why are you putting my sweaty kids on top of me? Mm. He's not enjoying it. Mm. But we had, you know, we did some stupid pictures. So, dude, those are amazing, bro. It was the best. We were very, those very happy. <laughs> we fucking talked about this. Yeah, we did. But I need to talk right. about this. I fucking hate everything. <laughs> so that, dude, yeah. but people on the YouTube did not see it, Duper. So you know, it'd be a good chance for them to see it too. Oh, Greg, you know. you're going to show my family? You're going to put my family on the internet? Dude, hey, you put it on Zoom, so... Zoom? I put it on know. our personal conversation? I thought this was private. Podcast isn't private. Our podcast isn't private? No. Are you saying that we've been releasing this to the public this whole time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All 12 viewers. Thank you. <laughs> oh. um, uh, but yeah, so, so Greg, that's Now that you've blown your had. wad... Huh? Now that you've blown your wad... Yeah. About how great I am, buddy. What? 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 
So I'm sorry. Can I, can I'm I like talk so about something that's bothering by... me? I don't want to talk about Israel and Hamas. We know that no, shit's happening. Dude, I'm so distracted by Duber because he keeps changing his fucking camera angle <laughs> and like my Duber. eyes don't know where to look and it's like throwing me off my game. So I do have something I want to talk about. I have other things to talk about too. This Let's is, see this what is... you want to talk about first. I want to know why Jada Pinkett Smith is such a horrible person. Ooh. And why she has to ruin Will Smith's life. I thought, didn't you guys cover this? And over. No, this happened after we recorded. Mm. I mean, over and over again, this woman seems to, like, once a year need to be in the headlines. And it's never for good shit. It's just another way to embarrass Will Smith. Like, I've never liked her from the beginning, dude. Oh, you know, man. This people always say that away. she's been, like, a an asshole, like, just the people. And that kind of it kind of proves it right there. So... It, it, it kind of. Did you guys see Will Smith's response to that? He applauded her. What else is he going to say? What did he say when <laughs> she brought him onto a talk show to say, hey, yo, I cheated on you? And tells him in front of a live fucking stream. Like, this so, woman is a piece of shit. Why doesn't There's Will Smith... out there slapping Chris Rock, and they're not even married. But he's calling her his wife. So, Dude is messed up, man. Why, She's got some, why... some talent in him. Why won't Will Smith just let her go, man? I don't know. Especially if they've been separated since 2016. That's seven years, I think, if I did math right. So that means her, um, what did she call it, entanglement? was uh, That happened after 2016, right? I think so. So she didn't really cheat on him, but they made it. They, he, She definitely broke Will Smith's heart with it. And then, yeah. yeah, like, but I'm telling you, like, think about it. Every fucking year with this woman, she does something like it's like quiet. Nobody's talking about Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. And then she's Dude, like, oh, I'm going to do something. It's worse than like a U.S. military member, like marrying a stripper. It's like worse than that. Well, what's wrong with that? Yeah, I'm trying to understand. I'm just saying like, <laughs> like <laughs> the, the uh, infidelity is about on the same level there. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it's, um, it seems like she was fucking around since day one. Like, didn't she fuck Tupac too? Like, can we? Uh, that's her true love. Day? Yeah, you know. Yeah, like she even t- she even tells Will Smith that's that's her true love. Yeah. By the way, you guys did not talk about the arrest of Tupac Shakur's planned killer. I mean, what's there to say? Right, like <laughs> twenty five years later. Yeah, <laughs> got him. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Dude, it was an unsolved case for 25 years. Like, was it though? Like, one of the greatest rappers, you know, he's not my greatest, but he's up there. But one of the greatest rappers of all time, a dude of our generation, fucking 20 plus five years later, they finally solve his murder. Like, that's huge. You know, and you guys are like, yeah, whatever. Fuck it. It's rap. I don't like rap. Mm, First of all, stupid. I like Tupac. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a West Coast guy. I'm an East Coast guy when it comes to rap, but I like Tupac. What? And, uh, he was a general. You love Kendrick account. Lamar. What the fuck are you talking about? No, that's New West Coast. That's oh, different. Oh, New West Coast. We don't like the old West Coast. took me Coast. back. If I had a choice between Biggie and Tupac, I'm taking Biggie. If I had a choice between Wu Tang and the entire NWA, I'm taking Wu Tang. Like, I love them both, but I will always lean one way. Like, that's just. How but it Dr. Works. Dre is still the greatest music producer. Yeah, uh, he's a great, greatest time. producer of all time, I think. Yeah. Like, yeah. across all genres, him and Rick Rubin, nobody can match that. To We're me. about to lose Dupe again. It's good. It's we great. lose him again. No, he's yeah. he's inhaling. No, I'm saying we're about to. He's gonna magically pop off just because we're talking about <laughs> rap. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to talk about African Americans. Um, but no, what do you think about the claim that the dude said that it was all plotted or paid for by Puff Daddy? You think Diddy did it? That's what he's claiming. You think Papa Diddy did it? Did it? Mm, mm. I wouldn't put anything past that dude. You know, I mean, old. he stole all his beats are from old music, so he stole shit for that. So it was to say he wouldn't steal Tupac's life. Who died first, Tupac or Biggie? I don't remember. Tupac. Tupac died first. Yep. Yeah, he, he stole J Love too. Who claimed J-Love? Mace in the divorce twice? You, you say J Love or J Lo? I just let I it go because I didn't know who the fuck he was talking about, but that yeah. makes more sense. J-Lo is in Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. But dude, at this point, like who's had more men in their lives, J-Lo or Taylor Swift? Or Jada Pinkett Smith. Or Jada Pinkett Smith, yes. <laughs> Jada. <laughs> wow. Those three know how to get around, huh? Yeah. yeah. Did you, uh-huh. were you here for any, you were here for some of the Tay-Tay talk, right? Maybe. I know it's been 
I don't know. It's been Greg. I don't know if you know this, but Tay Tay has stormed the NFL. Yes, that's all anybody globally, dude. Globally, it's all over fucking. So much so that Aaron Rodgers was so upset because they had a New York versus, uh, you know, Kansas City went to New York, and this is his return since he got injured, and it's going to be the Aaron Rodgers. Like, look at him, and they're doing it on Thursday night football, so or Sunday night football, so it's a big deal. And Rodgers, they see him coming in the stadium, and they're like, oh, cool. And then they immediately cut away because they're like, holy shit, Taylor Swift's in the booth. And, like, <laughs> he got no airtime. So the next day, all he's doing is talking shit about Travis Kelsey, calling him, uh, was it Mr. Mr. Pfizer or something like that? Yeah, and, I don't know. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers has been a drama queen since day one anyway. He I needs mean, his attention, man. He needs me, to matter. Me, 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 me. I mean, it's a Northern California boy. He needs his attention. <sighs> you know, a lot of people don't know that, that he's from northern california yeah with the cal um dude speaking of another californian dude your girl suzanne summers rest in peace yeah that's kind of sad man like holy shit rick i mean i know you grew up with uh nothing but women you know with your well, you know 22 so, sisters and everything fact, so i know that there had to have been at least like four different thigh masters in your house no but i did grow up watching a lot of threes company when i was a kid i, oh, I, didn't I have bet a lot you going did on, on slow-mo so, but no, I mean, it was, Three's Company was because I thought Jack was hilarious, right? Like, that was why. So, I mean, in the Ropers. And oh, yeah, I'm sure you watched it because of Jack. Chrissy was not the hot one. Her mm. cousin that came in afterwards was. Yeah, there's still some good-looking chicks on that show. Oh, of course. Yeah. But, um. no, I love Three's Company, so that's what got me. It is a bummer. Um, I didn't know that she battled breast cancer for almost 20 years. It's crazy, right? She was on a yeah. show uh, on Thank God It's Friday Night too, right? Yeah, uh, it what was Step by Step. Step by Step, yeah. Step by Step. It's funny. I just showed you the pictures. Day. And that was exactly what the reference was that we used a few weeks ago to get those pictures done. She said, what kind of poses do you want in these tuxedos? And I said, I want to be like TGIF, like Step by Step, like the white family from the early 90s on Friday nights. So that was every pose that we were trying to come up with. So, Dupe, you work out all the time. Do you use a thigh master to get in those, you know, in their deep? That's all I use. Yeah. That's all I use. Yeah. yeah. He uses it for his arms, his back. Yeah. yeah. Everything. It's it's uh it's like a multi it's like a multi tool. And what in in you know in one part of his body it's the the thigh master, and the other part of the body it's a shake weight. <laughs> That's not a weight. No. That's a penis. No. I'm <laughs> just talking about the the thigh master. That's the only that's the only thing I use. Dude, I think my family owned a thigh master too. Like, if I, I'm trying to remember, I don't think anybody ever used it. But, dude, those things are everywhere. I do remember that we had the, uh, what was that guy's name with the ponytail, the little little blonde guy, and he had like the glide like machine. Tony something. Yeah, like, Tony something's glider thing. Yeah, I remember that being in the house. Yeah, that was yeah. it. Oh, and then my dad uh-huh. did get a power. Oh, what the hell do they call those? The Pro Flex or the Power Flex or whatever it was, the uh, Bowflex, Bowflex. Mm. He got the full Bowflex system. Collected dust next to his bed. For like yeah, you know what else is collecting dust, and it's another piece of exercise equipment. Look at that. Um, my wife's that bike. exercise bike that Rick has in the background. That's, I mean, I go to the gym. I don't use the white my wife, my wife's bike. <laughs> so <laughs> it just holds <laughs> on to <laughs> my jersey now. I'm, I'm waiting to see my what wife. She Yeah. So how many no. shows can we go with uh, Austin Austin Reeves jersey on my wife's exercise bike? That's what we all laugh about. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So or you could just use it yourself. I'm not going to use that shitty bike. Bikes oh, are not comfortable. S- speaking of which, how's your plantar fascia diabetes? So I'm walking now. Oh. Uh, I'm walking pretty good. I'm at eight weeks. Uh, I'm golfing. And uh, I cannot run. And it's crazy. So we went to we went to the Rams game yesterday, Josh and I. And that was like the most walking I've done since I hurt myself because it's a big ass stadium, you know, parking and all that. So we got back to the car and I realized my foot doesn't hurt. It's actually feeling really good. It's nice and healed. My legs from not doing that much walking at a time were fucking dead. Like I felt like I just burned them out. So today I got up to go to work and I'm like, oh my God, they're so tired. Not even sore, just so tired from not walking that much, you know, for so long. So I got to work that up get my leg strength back that way but it's Dude, okay walking in europe sucks especially when you have bad knees because like there's <laughs> all the stairs hills. all over the place and then it's just cobblestone fucking uneven everything like oh dude my yeah uh, my knees and legs are done like are you telling me we're those walking don't know how to pave roads dude 
Well, I mean, I'm sure it was great for, you know, olden times, but not in current modern times. No, you know, I'm so grateful for my Marco where we have paved roads and elevators and escalators. Don't so they great. have that in London? No, um, <clears throat> they do. But dude, most of Europe is all stairs. It's crazy. And, and like the elevators, in Europe, they just build stairs. The elevators are like small. Bro, like it can barely fit like the three of us in one elevator. But then you'll look at the occupancy thing. It's like occupancy, 11 people. And you're like, there's no fucking way you get 11 people. And there's like barely three people that could fit in this thing. Like Europeans like Americans, three Americans, <laughs> three Americans, you know, we eat hamburger <laughs> or, or one duper. Cause you know, like his arms will fucking take up the whole elevator too. So yeah, well, I'm glad he went to Europe. Dude, it was an amazing trip, man. I know it's you like, want to talk about it, so I'm giving you a chance right now. It's oh, dude, but there's so much to talk about, bro. I mean, we went to, I mean, London. We went, Craig, Paris. Craig, Craig. Yeah, Do you have your yes. slideshow ready for us, dude? Can can this just be a slideshow of you dude, going over I, your? Uh... I wish I took like damn near close to like over a thousand photos, and they're all on my Facebook page. So, um, yeah, if you want to friend me on Facebook and then feel free to look at the photos, that's fine. Um, bots, go ahead too. Um, but dude. It's, yeah, I took so many fucking photos. Um, um, I made sure dude, that you knew that I saw them. Huh? When yes. You were in Italy. Yes, I wanted yes. to make sure that you knew that I saw your pictures. Oh, dude, they were all fantastic. It was I didn't want to Russell, like them. It was nothing but Russell Crowe gladiator gifs. It was it was amazing. Yeah. So when he was showing the Coliseum or anything around that area, it was all Russell Crowe from gladiator gifs. And yeah. then when he went to the Vatican, I switched it over to Russell Crowe in the Devil's or the Pope's no. Exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> like gifts from that so, yeah dude, you had, you had uh, nothing dude. but russell crowe oh man dude the vatican is is and and we got and i couldn't take photos of it but something that's even more surreal and more beautiful is the sistine chapel which yeah. um we got like an after hours tour of that so it was just like our small group of like 35 people in the sistine chapel and you're looking like at obviously you're in the church and then you're looking at all these works from michelangelo and Dude, it's uh, it, it was a surreal experience, dude. It's like the Vatican is so beautiful um, to begin with that you're just kind of like in awe. And then also, too, is St. Paul's Cathedral in London. Oh, man, so much history there. Like it was like the I think I don't I don't want to say it's the only church, but it was the the only like medieval church or one of them that actually survived World War Two. Like they actually like had volunteers go out and you know, like save it from like, you know, the bombings and the fires and stuff like that just to save the church. And um, do they actually have like a dedicated plaque to like Americans in World War Two serving in St. Paul's Cathedral? Mm -hmm. um, but dude, you just go all over like those places and you're just like, dude, the history here. You're like, like I'm walking on the same ground that like Leonardo da Vinci did that, like Julius Caesar did that, you know, all these like Renaissance greats and, and just other people from history. And it's just it's it's kind of surreal and everything's like embedded in a city right but i am i'm disappointed though rick you know why mm -hmm. like dude no assassin's creed merchandise anywhere i know like all Not over even Italy. An Etio? yeah no Etio. i'm like dude i'm in venice i'm in florence i'm in tuscany like nothing bro i'm like dude there has to be like and i even went to like some of their toy shops and yeah. dude like nothing bro i'm like dude you guys are missing a huge what if they're opportunity offended by here. it i don't know could be something. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's probably rights with Ubisoft that they got to get over. But, dude, like, there's people who make fake shit all the time. Like, there's not even any, like, artwork or anything either, you know? So, really? dude, there's, like, nothing. Yeah. I was like, you guys suck. Hmm. But you suck, dude. You fucking you suck. suck. Fix your goddamn you internet. You, you have... You, you, have, you have thousands of years of history there. Yes. And you want to focus on some shit that you can buy on Amazon. Um, yes, if it was authentic to Italy. That was the whole point of it, like getting a piece of merch from Italy where this character, even though fictional, was from. That was the point, Duper. <laughs> Look at all You're the tchotchke order items I have behind Amazon. me, Duper. They all have their own meaning. I doubt it. Like Spider-Gwen, Miles Morales, from one of the greatest movies ever that you hate, you know? Spider-Bot, oh, you know? Link Shield, you know? Like, all my, all my tchotchkes have a story, Dupe. Like, you know, it would have been cool to add that too. What's your story with Link Shield? It's awesome. It was at the Renaissance Fair. You know, and, you know, you that's, when, that's, when, 
that's when the link games were good on like these current you know this last one that was on switch that was basically like build your own like minecraft zelda which you know roblox zelda like no i'm not fun. cool with that but these are when the zelda games are good but you know uh what's your but, backstory with the uh possessed doll on the top shelf uh this one that yeah. this is heather's shelf so that's alice in wonderland by the way uh it's possessed yeah i mean it might be but nothing in my background is moving like your stuff does in your background what dude your la ramps thing keeps moving Dude, it's like, the fan above it's, my it's head. It's a fan, no, dude. Screen. It's possessed, bro. Zach Bagan. No, no, we're fine. Huh. Um, but yeah. So anyway, so yeah, not too much merch other than like standard, like you know, books and magnets and stuff like that. So yes, I did buy merch, dude. God. I got a question to ask you on the pod. Who me? Did, yeah. Did you okay. finally talk to your wife about me texting her questions? Maybe. Yeah, I think I did, and she was just like, "Yeah, whatever." Yeah, I mean, I know she would be, but I want to make sure yeah. everybody knows in advance. It's so like like i did we both did the international plans like on our phones but mm-hmm. she didn't really use her phone the entire time so it was mostly just me so no but yeah well, rick why why why, why are you trying to hit on all our wives like i and, mean or and or you know, girlfriends just uh spread the gene pool you yeah. know whatever it's like i need everybody's number because i want to like secretly send them photos when i'm in the bath in the bath <laughs> and, just and the bath? Just ask them ask them questions like hey right, do you ladies. think this is hot I lit a candle. Let's yeah. talk. This is me shaving my legs. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So what are you gonna ask? I'm our, not gonna um... tell you about it. It'll come up on the podcast. Uh, dude, you need here. to like give us like a hint though. Like, okay, I'm gonna ask. Give them... us a taste. Okay, here's a taste. Do you love your husband? Uh... Well, I mean, if it's coming from you, absolutely not. No, no, no. We all you know. Gotta... We all know your wife doesn't. So love by the her way, husband. my wife isn't gonna send me her answer. She's gonna send them to you. To me? Yes. <laughs> so, I'm going to ask her the exact same questions, but everything's going to get answered to you. So then we're going to play a little game. I thought it would be fun to have a little oh, newlywed. Dude, How well does your wait. wife know each other kind of game? So it'll be a little bit of both, right? Some questions that you can be like, oh, that's cute and cheesy. And then also like, okay, well, what's his favorite sandwich? And then, you know, like <laughs> stupid shit like that. Yeah, you'll see. Okay. You'll see. I like it. Yeah. Like what it. position? But dude, but, um, the last time your wife texted me some stuff, like you and her got into a fight. So oh, I'm kind of well, like nervous I about that. I told her to keep the nudes <laughs> in the folder. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, I was supposed to only send you the family photo ones. My yeah. bad. Sorry. <laughs> it's just me. This bare is ass. what Rick looks like when he's only wearing the Canadian tux and nothing underneath. She told me to wear the tux. She's like, I want you to poo bear that fucking denim shirt. <laughs> You gotta poo bear that shit so hard. <laughs> like, all right, I guess. <laughs> kind of weird. Uh, That's all right. We'll poo bear it. Yeah. All yeah. right. So when are we? Are we gonna do this next week? In the week or two. Oh, okay. When I get you know, time. I mean, because getting all four of us on the show at the same time seems like a Herculean feat. It'll get there. We'll have it. We'll be there. Yeah. It'll be ready. Honestly, even if I have the answers and sit on them for a while, they're gonna come. And we're yeah. gonna do that fun episode. All right. I don't know. Way, I love I love how I'm back on and dupe is the one that's not talking. I love it. He's so serious about his internet right now. Now he knows how Lee feels this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, dupe. But I think you're getting more bald. I have some Creed merchandise in Italy. You guys kind of lost there me. There is none in Italy. Look. Look. <laughs> that's the point. Stupid. You know? So By dumb. the way, is like okay, Rick. Like okay, you're used to seeing Dupe every week, but I haven't seen him in like close to a month. Is he getting balder? I mean, he's always we're his all hairline aging. looks like it's getting farther and farther back. We're always aging, you know. And I think it's know, because this, this, he's. This is, I think he's rubbing his head like this a lot, and he's just rubbing the hair away. Greg, when you sent pictures of yourself in in France, what I say? What I say, Greg? <laughs> I, I know where know. this is going. I said, hey, I said, I said, hey, bud. Hey, bud. You look like you're, you're losing some weight. You look good. Oh, thanks. He said, oh, hey, thanks, bud. And then and then you come back, and what do you say to me? Hey, dude. Hey, looks like you don't have any hair. Well, dude, I could only comment you on your biceps so many times, bro. Okay. And I commented you on your yeah, biceps but, but even, 10 minutes even ago. That, even that is sarcastic. It, it's, no. it's, like, it's like a backhanded you compliment. You can't like, get in a European elevator because of your biceps, dude. How big of a compliment yeah, do you need from me? 
but I don't believe it. You would understand I, I, I that joke if you would understand an, a European elevator. Because they're small. I, I, I assume that there's some level of, of attack there, so I, I, I just don't trust it. Okay, dude. I yeah. love how muscular your body is. Yeah, I'd love... No, no, stop, stop. It's better when you're insulting. <laughs> really weird. <laughs> what? what? I'm trying to give you a compliment, bro. No, no, Ooh. no. Now you just make it weird. Hey, no. to be fair, I was giving Rick shit about not using fucking pieces of exercise equipment just 20 minutes it's ago, It's not bro. mine. You know, you I'm an equal do? opportunity shit talker. You know this. Make a comedy podcast funny again, dude. Who said this was a Did comedy just... podcast? Uh, you did when we made our profile and it I said, said type of podcast. I said comedy. it's a social commentary. A social commentary. Well, yeah. then I don't think social commentary is an option. I know. I, I you know you know what's funny is like what? I was letting that slide too, Rick, because like he's been harping about that shit all day. Yeah. But let's make the comedy co- podcast funny again. Like we're impractical jokers or like SNL. We laughed. Like <laughs> people people are gonna laugh more at this episode than they have in the past two weeks. I'm sure they laughed well, at the episode that released the previous Monday before this episode. When uh, you made a terrible hockey pick. Math. You took it you made a fucking horrible hockey pick. Oh, yeah, and then you um, made a sports pod on a non sports pod podcast. Who said so that we had that. who says who where are we getting these fucking oh, rules? Oh I'm sorry, we're social commentary. Yeah. Where do we get these rules about our co- like our but, content? I am glad that hockey is back. I will say that. Nobody wants to talk hockey. This isn't a sports podcast. (laughs) 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 Uh, I love it. It's it's so hard to talk about. Oh, um, oh, I got to get her name again. Sorry. Greg, I do have an update for you, and it's a big one before we uh, wrap this this episode up. Okay. I'm I'm glad you got some because I was going to say, well, that's a... No, no, I have one more thing I need to let you know about myself for the day. Before you went out, I talked to you about um, the government shutdown and what I was most worried about. Do you remember what that was? (gasps) Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're worried about some bear thing in Alaska. Fat bear week. Yeah, and they picked a winner, didn't they? They picked a winner. Oh, man. Her name is Can you thank McCarthy for that? Yeah. Again, why'd you get rid of him? Thanks. So (laughs) her name is Grazer. Oh. Uh, She's a mother of three. Uh, Wow. Her runner-up was a uh, bear known as Chunk, but uh, I'm going to show you a picture of her right now. She, oh. is, she is thick with two Cs. Like, mm. Oh, she's cute. Oh, she's got it. Look at that. Oh, wow. She was Aww. she was a fat bear. She was ready. She's a beaut. Yeah, she's a... I would not want to fuck with her. That's a mama bear. Right no, now. not at all. So congratulations to Grazer. She's just a um, single woman in the in the wilderness just, just you trying know, to supporting live her, her kids, bro. She's just trying to do her thing. Look at her. Look at that big old girl. Oh, that doesn't look like the same bear to me. It's the same bear. It's all. Mm. It's Grazer. <laughs> Greg's already bought in like some conspiracy. Like, no, no, that's not the same bear. It's Grazer. It doesn't look like it. the same bear. It's look, Grazer. Look, she's in the water with lighter fur right there. Yeah. And well, then you go the to the next photos and they're darker the fur. Sunlight. You know what they need is, is voter registration for these bears. Like they got to tag these things better. Yes. I don't know. Yes, absolutely. They need a driver's <laughs> license or a photo ID before they vote. Either way, congratulations, girl. Yeah. Who's the runner up? Can do you have photos of the runner chunks? up? Chunks. Oh, that might be the runner up right here. That's oh. chunks. Okay. I like chunks. Yeah, I like chunks. Why do you like chunks? Good the chunky. He looks the angry. Code is bit better. She looks, she looks a bit bigger, a little bit thicker, well, you know. Wait, are, are these both feet so the this first a one's a female. The second one's a male. This is a papa. Okay. Oh, have they um have they this been together by them. chance? Hmm. Have they been together by chance? No, Made I mean maybe. I mean code. now that they're, you know how it is. Like you get that celebrity couple thing going on. Yeah. Right. And get a thruple going. Yeah. You know, they're famous now. They Next thing you know, they they're going to be showing up at Chiefs games. <laughs> oh my God! Grazer's here. Aaron Rodgers is in the back. Thanks, fucking Captain Moderna. <laughs> They're gonna be pushing out some big ass refrigerators. <laughs> Just up there eating. The bears. <laughs> yeah. So congratulations to Grazer. I just wanted to let you know that actually happened. We got okay. our fat bear week. You know, oh, I'm and glad. Check our... this out. Nine million people voted this time. Wow. Yeah. That's like yeah, more than we the probably population made up at least four of us. I I voted a lot. 
Not was it lie. the bots, Rick? Huh? Was it the bots? It could have been some fucking Russian bots. Oh. No. They care about bears. Mm. But maybe they didn't like her because she's like, she cannot ride bike. And that's <laughs> no, she does not like tricycle. I do not like tricycle. Putin is strong like Grazer. All right. I'll I'll say. Do you think do you think that there's a picture of Putin riding the back of one of those bears? Like there is a, a picture on? of Putin riding a bear. Is there? Yeah, hang on. As I say, didn't he like wrestle a bear too, or whatever, yeah. with his judo skills or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm looking for it right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There yeah. we go. Got it. Uh, Got it. That sounds like a gay porn. Putin rides a bear. There it is. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Get him riding a bear. Dupe, evaluate the Photoshop skills of that. That's actually pretty good, dude. With all the water splashes and this everything. This one's photoshopped, definitely. <laughs> look, at, look at how serious the bear is oh, I, can't get, I want to get a bigger picture of that like look uh, at how fucking serious that bear looks though <laughs> that's like, my level of photoshop right there oh <laughs> with the goggles on oh putin for the audio uh listeners rick is googling photoshopped photos of a shirtless vladimir putin riding just various bears just just on the bears. Oh. oh, it's so good though. Oh, okay. Oh, look! Stop oh, there was a gif. Now. How do I get back to the gif? Oh God! Now we're looking at his search history. There's so much. There oh, it is. God, get ready. It was playing. There he goes. Play video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's so stiff. And now Rick is playing a video of, of, oh, God, that is horrible. That is atrocious. It's the best. Okay, I'm done. All right. But the music still plays. Sorry, I stopped it. Did we oh. lose Duper again? Yeah, dude, we just lost him again. And it's it, and I think that's a great um, Wait sign a to night? maybe wrap this episode up. What do you think? I say uh, that's it. Good night, everybody. Or good day, or whenever you it's, read this. It's great to be back. Um, I am I am glad I made this job successful in making the podcast funny again. Um, like, subscribe, hit us up on all the socials. Since I'm back, uh, I'll be posting the social media again. So that's fun. Um, and then email us, info at takewarning.network, and we will see you on the next one. Hey there, you. Hey, you right there. Thanks for listening to this episode. Make sure you subscribe, rate us, and give us some comments on your favorite podcast platform. The more you subscribe, rate, and comment increases the chances that the algorithm will make Rick and Dupe talk less, which is a win for everyone. Also, follow us on our social media platforms for more additional content from the show. Lastly, email us at info at if you want to send us something special. Have a nice day.